When taxiing a light aircraft, it's very important to protect your aircraft from strong winds or strong wind gusts. This is how this works. Let's say, for example, you're taxiing on taxiway delta, and you know that the wind is coming off the front right of the aircraft. It will be necessary to apply full ailerons into the wind. The purpose of applying full ailerons into the wind is because at this slow taxi speed, your controls are not very effective, so it's necessary to give full aileron input. By applying the ailerons into the wind, what you're actually doing is lowering the aileron on your left wing, which produces more lift, and raising the aileron on the right wing, which basically disrupts the lift. So in essence, what you're doing is trying to bank the airplane into the wind. This will prevent a strong wind from getting underneath your wing and attempting to turn your airplane over. As you continue to taxi on delta, you make a right turn on alpha. Now the wind direction has shifted from your front right to the front left. It will be necessary to fully deflect the ailerons into the wind again. So therefore, you went from full right deflection to full left deflection. What this will do is lower the aileron on your right wing, producing more lift, and raise the aileron on your left wing, reducing or disrupting the lift, causing the aircraft to attempt to bank into the wind to protect it properly. If you were taxiing on delta and made a left turn on alpha, now the wind is coming from your uh, rear, from your right rear. The potential for this wind would be for it to turn the airplane over forward on its nose, so therefore we need the elevators to go in a downward deflection. We also need this aileron on your right wing to go down. If all of these control surfaces are down, the wind may push you faster, but it will not allow the wind to get underneath your airplane and tip it over. So if the wind is coming from behind you, the saying is, dive away, you would push the yoke forward to lower your elevator, and then turn the ailerons full deflection to the left. And this again would cause your elevator to go down and your right aileron to go down, allowing the wind to maybe push you but not flip you over. If we were taxiing on alpha and made a right turn on delta, now the wind direction would be coming off our left rear. So again, we would need to dive away. You would push forward on the yoke and go full deflection with the aileron to the right. This would lower your elevator and lower the aileron on that left wing, again allowing the airplane to be pushed, but not have the potential to tip over. It takes a lot of practice to develop the coordination of continuing to compensate for the wind while you're taxiing. You're steering with your feet, using the rudders to steer the direction of the airplane, but you constantly have to keep up with where the winds are in order to correct properly to, to prevent the winds from getting underneath the airplane and um, turning it over. So I suggest, other than your first lesson, always practice your crosswind taxi technique. If the winds are calm, just make up a wind direction. Pretend the winds are coming out of the south, for example. So then when you're taxiing, you continue to think and compensate for the wind. So the days when it is very windy, you will automatically be doing it without a second thought.